What's up, YouTube? LND here. Uh, today we're gonna be playing some more uh, Knock Knock. For almost forgot the name of the game, so let's do this shit. Hopefully these these last next couple things, one or two or whatever, are the last ones I have to do. Um, because it's getting pretty repetitive, and I still have to go through and uh, get the other ending yet. All right, are we in the? Okay, this is not the world in which we are safe from monsters. I guess I should have been able to tell that by the clock. It's weird though, because this is supposed to be the dream world, I believe. But the monster's not here, it's in the real world, I guess? I don't know, it's weird to me. Alright, pretty... Pretty damn quiet. Oh, don't start crying again. Oh shit, seriously? I call fucking bullshit on that one. I don't, I don't know why I have the hand on my mouse. As far as I know, it doesn't actually do anything. I'm going to typically stick to areas. Seriously, again? Or as far as I know, there aren't monsters and whatnot. Alright, I see her in that other room there. Um, my main goal is to get as much time and not lose any of it. Try to keep as much of it as I can, which might involve... Most people can make you sick. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? Hold on, guys. Is that in the game? What in the fucking hell? I'm sorry about that, guys, if that's really loud. I don't know why it's doing that. It's... It stops... What in the fucking hell? Come on, another time thing, baby. That scared the hell out of me, that music. Is there another thing in here? No. Alright, there's a spot for me to hide in here. That kid! Yeah, it's fucking cheating. You can go through doors and shit. Hi, Gurney. What? That voice crack, but seriously, what? Oh, come on! That's fucking ridiculous. I just wasted three minutes of my fucking life. Alright, guys. I... This is the last time I'll die. If the, the next time I'll die, I'll just... Someone just walked over again. I don't care. Um, the next time I die, I'll just... Um, skip to the part of me beating it. Because that's... I'm not going to sit here and do the same shit over and over again. I don't remember... There being this many, uh, levels from, for you to do in this game, but, you know, I guess fuck me. I'm gonna try to not... Like, I'm not gonna... What the hell? Rotting leaves around the guy and it's fall now. Alright. I'm not... Okay, hold on, he's imagining something. I'm gonna try not to stay in this particular area.
because it's this is what's giving me trouble apparently. Guests like those only come in in the dark because the shadows eat through the walls of your home. Alright, I'm not going to... Okay, I'm gonna have to get out of here though. There's nowhere for me to go if a monster shows up up here. There is a hiding spot though. In a fucking time thing. Made some good time there. Oh, okay. Alright, I need to like, yeah, I need to get somewhere else. Now one thing about like jump scares and stuff is I uh, feel like the worst part of it is not the jump scare itself. It's the, the feeling you get from waiting for it to happen. I don't know what door that was that just happened to. Come on, just imagine it already, dude. Useless. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna... Don't do this. Well, let me turn this light off, guys. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't see that gurney if it was coming anyway. Come on, imagine something, dude. There's nothing down here. Okay. Time thing. Oh, come on! It's getting pretty fucking ridiculous. Does it go away? Nope. No, well, that one's here. That gurney stuff is getting pretty ridiculous. There was nothing even freaking there! Just want to make sure there isn't a guy here. Fucking ridiculous, like, time losses and stuff for... Oh, pot, thanks. Very fucking helpful. Alright, okay. go down here, I think. You're home. Oh, <laughs> bullshit. Seriously, that was so much bullshit. You need to imagine a time thing, dude. It's okay. This is. This stuff with the gurney guys is getting fucking overly ridiculous and whatnot. Come on, stop giving me completely useless shit. He has simply lost his way. Alright, obviously. Okay, I don't know. Alright, I see. The more that stuff happens, the more the crack gets smaller at the top. I want to see you. Where are you? How the hell do I get around that? I'm just gonna turn the light on. Maybe I'll lose less. Come on.
Come on. Let's go, come on. Do not. Surely I didn't. Get outside. Your home is there. I know, I wish I could get there. This dude would imagine shit that's useful. God, that scared the fucking hell out of me. Don't start playing music again. This is fucking ridiculous. God damn it. Trying to just go back through the few rooms I have the lights on and up here. Come on. I have so little stuff left. Finally, I'm back. I keep forgetting that the guy doesn't do anything. Don't do this. It's so hard to either not see something before the light goes on or like walking into something you can't see unless you're right in front of it. See, now, like, how do I get around that thing that's in there? Finally, I'm back. Still got enough time. Sorry, I'm being awfully quiet. I'm just. This is getting fucking ridiculous. Seriously? Give me one more time thing and I'm set. something but I don't I like I don't want to go the music is way too loud like I don't want to go into a new room and risk having to start all over again so I'm completely set in these rooms your home is there um this guy just won't imagine anything new what the fuck now see that thing doesn't disappear, so how the hell do I get around it? I'm so close to the end, I'll just... You who in me. Just stand here, and I'll go hide if I, if I need to. Thing's creepy as fuck, I'm so close. Come on. There we go. Oh fucking time. That was absolutely ridiculous. We're, we are now playing Settlement. It's a wish, wish making game. This is how you need to play it. If someone manages to wake up one hour before dawn, that person should declare themselves to living in their thoughts. At sunrise, the living should stand before the closed door and say out loud, the hour is at hand. It's 
time to go re get ready after those words, the door should be stay closed. If it doesn't work, that person is no longer the living. Alright, guys. As you can hear that, I got a phone going off. Let me just get this finished real quick. Like, I'll get into the game and I'll whatever. Sorry that fucking ringtone is so obnoxious. Sorry about that, guys. stand and look at his ugly mug for 20 minutes. I'm terribly tired. I've been started to sleepwalk. Last night I woke up standing right here at the door. I see the person out there. Whoops, I didn't mean to skip that, guys. I'm sorry about that. The first time we learned about the program was in the fall, about six months after the unrest. They described it as a community initiative. Most of the Tenants gathered in the courtyard for of our complex. No one, what, no one knew what was going on. Everyone was shouting, worried, guessing that will come next. Guessing what will come next. All kinds of rumors. It came down to this: they would be move, removing children as if from the parents, as if from unfit parents. For what purpose? Who knew? But against the backdrop of everything our government had done and justified in recent years. The outlook was most sinister. At point I decided at point I decided to grab my son and escape the city to the middle of nowhere. First news about the program. First the summons arrives and they announce a gathering, usually at a school. Then the door knocks. The door knockers come, sorry. Young bastards like volunteers wearing some party insignia. They go through the complex with lists and check who shows up and who doesn't. I'm not the only one getting clever. Everyone is getting ready to leave for somewhere. We've already been given another family's furniture to look after. Everything is changing. Parents are hiding their kids with other people, so we now have two more. I don't leave my child's side for even a minute. Even in my sleep, I hold his hand. The other children sleep with us too. It's crowded. The world is falling apart, seems to me. This situation is headed for a civil war. I had a nightmare that our turn came. We were led to the school, shoved in what used to be the gym. My son and I sat in a cell with a small buried window, small barred window. I tried to push him through the opening from the other side came shouts that any kid they catch would be taken unconditionally. There is no suffering worse than this feeling of helplessness. It's past the time when I should leave this apartment, but concern for the children stopped me. Stumbling around like a sh sleepwalker, I don't recognize a thing. They took the little ones. I haven't seen them for at least two days. I suddenly found another child in the corner. Who is it? Whose is it? No one knows. It sits in the corner wrapped up in a blanket. Doesn't his face? Doesn't show his face. Doesn't say a word. Sometimes I think it may be a girl. I won't drink anymore. All I can think about is my little invisible one. Doesn't eat or speak. I'm not pressing, don't even want to watch. Let it keep playing hide and seek. The child is like clothes with nothing inside. Doesn't take food, but all those kids they forged for themselves. Somehow, little by little, they've learned to take, to look after themselves. Most likely all I need to do now is just love her and eventually she'll show herself. I'm sorry I'm having a hard time reading. This font is weird as fuck. I don't know, it's throwing curveballs at my sight. Maybe it's a boy after all. It started to make little noises from inside the blanket cocoon. Odd squeaks and croaks. It still turns away, but at least now it's re reacting to me. It seems like it's really invisible. It tries to reach out and touch me from time to time, but there are no hands there and only emptiness. Maybe she escaped from the program. Is that... It... Is that what they're doing to our kids? I shouldn't be thinking about it. I don't want to. I found the bedding on the invisible's bed, crumbled and tossed about as if in disgust. I gently asked why. It only creaked out something about how the bed smells bad. I took it for a walk. It's a dry autumn, lots of scents in the air. Dry, it's a, it's a, yeah, dry aut autumn. It's a dry autumn trying to make sense of that. Like the whole season's been dry? I don't know. We picked berries and leaves and I asked which smells it likes. 
Silence. It accepts nothing, and then it lets me know that it wants to get something to show me. I let, let it go. The city almost deserted. Why not let it run around a bit? Keep referring to an it. There is no child in the house, but only the bed I found what brought back for me. Strange selection. A few shriveled maple leaves all mixed up with wet dirt as if scooped them from the ground in cupped hands and carried them folded in his clothes. Now all these rags have to be washed. Whether I want to or not, I'll have to see what's inside, but I think I can already guess. It became strangely close in the weeks that we spent together. Alright, it looks like that is it. I'll deal with that ridiculous phone a, a bit. Oh. What seems horrible inside the house will stop scaring you if you go out into the woods. Touch them without fear. Open your eyes. Don't be afraid to look. Don't be afraid to see. This is not death, but simply a new line. There is no death. Um. I read all those, um, things, if you're wondering, for any reason. Because... I, uh, you get an achievement, what are you seeing is, what you're seeing is n really nothing. Um, you get an achievement for finding ten diary pages or something like that. It used to sleep right here. Yeah, you can see the rag there. I wonder if it's him that, that was writing that in the journal, or if he's the son of the person who was writing it in the journal. Or if this person's connected anyway. Softly, softly. I'm coming, you hoodlum. It happened here, in this very forest, in this very home. Alright. I believe, yeah. And just scroll out, see what I have left to do. Everything downstairs. I know this is probably a little bit of a time waster, but... I like, I like the lights, all the lights being on in the house. I don't know why that light was off. Okay, this is where I go down. Alright. I don't quite understand why. Seems like some lights take longer to, uh, turn on than others. There's a f few of them I feel like I just turned on. Seem like they turned on, like, literally right away. Like, right after I started it. Or the, you know, the fixing thing. Damn, there's a lot in this house. I can't get up to that other thing though. There, there is a room above me right there. Oh, there's a ladder. Seriously? This is gonna take forever. It'd be awesome if you could leave that zoomed out like that and still moved about the house. Okay, what well, light went off? Um, Alright, the very top one. I almost went the whole turn turned on every light without one breaking like that. I'm moving, I'm moving. That weird audio clip from uh the what is it? Like the intro thing? Yeah, it's over here. Some weird pictures on the background there. Actually now that I think about it, let me seriously. Let me nab a screenshot of this. Almost hit the recording button. There we go. Alright guys, fuck that light down there. I'm not going all the way back to the other side of the house. It's literally one of the furthest rooms it could have been. Shit, why did I... I gotta go up this way, I think. I hate that when people are impatient and don't, like, stop knocking on doors and shit. Alright, let's see how far we get with this one. 
Okay, I can determine that's probably another one or two more things. Unless you don't get to go all the way through. Although I feel like I remember that being a thing. That you had to go all the way until dawn in this world also. The only problem is I only ever get a couple of these things in at a time. But I've already had this dream and not too long ago. The hour is at hand. It's time to get ready to leave. Alright. Game over. Game over? What the hell? Oh my god, am I stuck? I don't know if I can finish this. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this. It, uh... That, that, that happened because I don't have a thing. Although it didn't, it, I don't know, it should, should have came back afterwards. I don't know, we'll see what happens. There's supposed to be a crack at the top of my screen. And, I don't know. I'll, I'll see if it happens again. If it happens again, I'll let you guys know, or I'll end the video and I'll see if there's a way for me to fix that without having to go all the way through the game again. How? What? Why? So how do I? F how do I fix that? I'm gonna have to go all the way through the freaking game again. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.